all right folks so in this video what I wanted to cover is sentence window retrieval so in this channel I have gone through a lot of techniques which are related to basic rag to the advanced rag techniques and mainly I have used langchain to do those things but few of the two techniques which I will go through in one of them in in this video that is sentence window retrieval and the other one which is auto merging retrieval that we will uh, talk about in the next video those uh, concepts are mainly implemented using uh, llama index and these two techniques you should use when you see like your rag is having a low score in terms of context relevancy right so what are the context that is being fetched from the vector db that is not relevant to the question and and you have seen that the context relevancy score is very low so in those cases you can think about using these two techniques which i will talk about uh, in this video and the next video the sentence window retrieval and the auto merging retrieval that you can think of uh, implementing when you are seeing that the uh, context relevancy is very low right so let's go through the basic rag architecture again uh, just to give you a refresher and also we will talk about what are the issues with uh, the basic rag architecture so we have the input documents which are like very domain specific documents or confidential documents so on top of those documents we wanted to build the rag right so those documents gets loaded extracted and then we kind of create the chunks out of those uh, documents then we create the embedding uh, on top of each of the chunks and those embeddings will be stored inside the vector db and when a user comes user comes with a question that question will also go through the embedding model to create the embedding for that particular question and then we perform the similarity search to retrieve uh, the relevant chunks and that will be pa passed to the LLMs for uh, as a context for the generation phase right so then the L LLM kind of generates the response and that send then that we send back to the user right so this is a typical architecture of a rag and uh, no now if you think about uh, so there are two phases one of them is retrieval where based on the user question you retrieve the relevant chunks and also there is a generation phase right so in case of typical rag architecture what we do is we use the same chunk for retrieval as well as the generation process right so that can be uh, uh, issue if you are thinking about improving the context relevancy so llm kind of needs a larger chunk or a larger context for generating a better an answer to the user question right but in terms of retrieval phase so the more specific the chunk is to the question the better the retrieval is right so this sentence retrieval concept is a concept where we kind of decouple this retrieval and generation phase so what we do is we get the documents then we do the load and extract and we create the sentence level chunks right so instead of creating a larger chunks like using multiple sentences or a paragraph what we do is we create sentence level chunks and when the user comes so that question will be matched to the uh, each of these sentences and the sentences which are relevant to the question that will be retrieved right now this is where the retrieval phase uh, is done now what we do is we kind of do a context enhancement where we uh, kind of fetch also the surrounding sentences for that particular sentence that has been retrieved right so the during generation we kind of enhances the context with the surrounding sentences and that we pass to the llm along with the question right then the llm kind of responds back to the user with a particular generation for that particular question right so that's what uh, this decoupling is all about so we kind of retrieve the sentences which is at a sentence level retrieval and when we kind of generate the answer that time we enhance the context using the surrounding sentences for that particular sentence right so that's why we kind of say that uh, this is a decoupling of the retrieval and the generation phase so this kind of gives a better context or the better retrieval in terms of using sentence window retrieval right so we have talked about the uh, concept now let's talk about what are the generic advantages and disadvantages using this uh, concept so first one is like enhanced specificity so here we are kind of doing a precise retrieval of segments that are more relevant to the query right so we are treating the chunks in such a way like those are nothing but a sentence 
now that sentence can be very specific to the user question so we are kind of uh, having a more specific retrieval for whenever we are using this sentence window retrieval right so then there is uh, this advantage of context rich generation so as we are enhancing the context by the surrounding uh, sentences for the after the retrieval phase during the generation phase we we can also say that this is also enriching the context right so we are not only sending the sentence but we are also sending the before and after uh, sentences for that particular uh, retrieval uh, after the retrieval right so then we have this balance generation where we kind of strike a balance between a large context and a focused context right so large context is generally the typical vanilla rag where we kind of retrieve the whole chunks or multiple chunks then we send it to the llm as a context for uh, the sentence window retrieval we are focusing uh, for the specificity and we are kind of retrieving the sentences then we are enhancing the context for that particular sentence right so we are kind of uh, taking a balanced approach using this sentence window retrieval but along with that there is additional complexity as we are doing a sentence level chunking so there are a lot of additional complexity which involves and also this decoupling is also an additional level of complexity that we add using the sentence window retrieval right then also we have a chance of missing context because these are specific contexts right so like sentence and the surrounding sentences right so there is a risk of like uh, we, we can miss out the larger context which is which is actually needed to answer the question right so there is also a chance of missing context using this sentence video retrieval right so that's why you should take a balanced approach try out this approach and see if there is an improvement in your rack triad score or not then only you can like think about using this approach right okay now let's go through the code and try to understand how to implement using the llama index is a code which I will also share in the description of this video so first of all we are doing the installations like llama index installation then the uh, we are using we will crawl a website or a web link so that's why we need to install this llama index readers web which will call crawl the content from a particular URL and create the documents then we will use the hugging face embedding so for that we are uh, installing this hug, llama index embeddings hugging face then we are also using the OpenAI uh, LLM. So we are installing this Llama Index LLM's OpenAI, which will enable us to create a LLM based on the OpenAI uh, API, right? So then, then what we will do is we will load the web page as document. So using this simple web page reader, we will read the contents of this URL and we will create the documents. Once the document is created, then we will initialize the LLM. So we are using the recently launched GPT-4 Home Mini, and we are also using the uh, BG Base English uh, embedding. So these two ones are initialized, then we can start using that, right? So after that, what we will do is we need to follow three steps to complete the creation of this uh, sentence window retriever. So first, what we will do is we will create a node parser using the sentence window node parser where we need to pass the window size which I already talked about what it is so like uh, once you retrieve the sentence you will enrich the content of that sentence with the surrounding sentences right so then what we will do is you will create the sentence context or which is nothing but the service context right so where we will pass the LLM the embedding model and the node parser that we created in the step one right so once that is done then we will create the index so we will use this vector store index from documents to create the sentence level index right so once that is done then the next step is to create the sentence window query engine right so here we are uh, initializing few of the parameters so you can also add an additional step so where you will like rank the documents and then do a filter using those rank right so we are uh, creating a variable which is like read rank equals to true so based on your requirement you can either set it to true or false so i have kind of made it as a parameter based on that your uh, re-ranking phase will kick off or it will be switched off right so then we are mentioning the similarity top k 
which will be creating the post processor which is nothing but a metadata replacement preprocessor so here you can see the target metadata key is equals to window so what it will do is it will once the retrieval phase is done then it will uh, do a replacement of the sentences with the surrounding sentences so the original sentence will be there but along with that the surrounding sentences will also be uh, added back to the particular sentence so that is kind of a context enrichment that is this step is actually doing right so then we will also implement a re-ranker so which will re-rank the document using this bg re-ranker base uh, hugging face model and after that we will create this sentence window engine right so where we pass the similarity top k value and also the post processor so if your re-ranking value is set to true then the post process along with the re-ranking will be passed else only the post process where the context enrichment will take place right so once that is done then what i am doing here is i am creating a function which will uh, just retrieve and generate the response and also it will give you back the context for that particular question right so you can see like i'm passing a simple question which is nothing but what did the author do growing up and then i am calling this sentence window retriever function where i am passing the sentence window engine along with the query right and we are getting back the response so you can see the response and also the context that has been used to generate this response right so this is a uh, this is the way how you can use the sentence window retriever i so in the next video i will talk about what is a auto merging retrieval and how does it work in terms of looking at the visual representation and also in terms of the code implementation right so i hope you like this content uh, thank you for your time see you in the next video